What's going on everyone? My name is Lucas and today I decided to make a chart about La Liga's most important players. It's a pretty crap chart, but nevertheless. It ranges from Kevin Prince Boateng and Thibaut Courtois who are towards the bottom, not very important to their clubs, as you'd suspect. And it ranges to very high to crucial with Iago Aspas at the very top. He's going to be the person we're talking about today, but some of you may ask, where's Messi? He's crucial for Barcelona. And I'd agree, he's off the charts. No, really, he's off the chart. Iago Aspas was born in Moana, Spain, and when he was 8 years old, he tried out for his local club, Celta de Vigo. At the time, the lowest age allowed at the club was 9, but Aspas lied about his age, as it was his dream to play for the club. Despite being younger than the others, he was accepted by the club. He felt guilty about lying about his age and later having his parents call the club about it. However, Aspas was so good that his age didn't matter. As the years went by, he climbed through the ranks of the club, up until the 2008-09 season where he made his first team debut. It was in the Spanish second division and incredibly, on his debut off the bench, he scored a brace with the second in injury time. This resulted in the club being saved from relegation and possibly extinction. It's quite fitting for what was to come. It wouldn't be until next season where he began to get consistent first team minutes as a 22 year old, scoring 5 goals in the process. He continued to get solid game time in the 2011-12 season. It was an incredible campaign with 23 goals leading to Celta's promotion. In the following season in La Liga, they struggled. However, thanks to factors such as Iago Aspas' 12 goals and 7 assists, they managed to stay up in La Liga by one point over Mallorca. According to an article from Sid Lowe, leading up to the second last game of the season, the 4% was mentioned. This was the odds of Celta avoiding relegation. In that game, he scored to give Celta the victory, as well as an assist in the last match against Espanyol to secure survival. Iago Aspas' performances led to a transfer to Liverpool, and while there were reports of him possibly being a Suarez replacement, those proved to be false. Unfortunately for Aspas, his time at Anfield was less than memorable. The 2013-14 season had the arrival of Iago Aspas at Anfield for a fee of £7.6 million. It was a memorable season for Liverpool fans, as they played exciting football under Brendan Rodgers and talisman Luis Suarez. Unfortunately for Aspas, he only had a goal to show for and a terrible corner kick that became the last thing people remembered of him. Even with the incredible things he has done in the last few years, it's a shame that one bad season, especially one moment, discredits what he has done in some people's eyes. Maybe he was doomed from the start. At least, that's what Steven Gerrard thought. In Gerrard's autobiography, he says, Straight away, as soon as I saw them in the dressing room, I knew they weren't going to make it in the Premier League. It boiled down to physique. They had the bodies of little boys. They looked about 15. I thought, Jesus, how are you going to cope against John Terry, Ashley Williams, and Ryan Shawcross? He may not have been given a lot of opportunities, mostly due to the incredible season of Suarez and Sturridge, but Aspas supposedly did enjoy the experience. He was loaned, and eventually bought by Sevilla, but his season in Seville wasn't like his time with Celta de Vigo. Similar to his time at Liverpool, he was behind a few players in the pecking order as Sevilla had Baca and Kevin Gamero. The season was tough for Aspas with only 16 appearances in La Liga. While he was the joint top goalscorer in the Copa del Rey that year, the story was completely different in La Liga. However, one thing you couldn't deny about him is his passion. From another story from Sid Lowe, Aspas displayed the type of fire that had been instilled in him during his time at his boyhood club of Celta de Vigo. He was desperate to get more chances and put himself in double training sessions which impressed the staff. Fans were chatting his name as they wanted to see him play more. It wouldn't be until February in a match against Espanyol where he got his first start of the season. His big moment came as he got a late winner for his club. It must have been a fantastic feeling for him especially of everything that went on in 2014 with both Liverpool and Sevilla. Could things continue to improve for Aspas? They certainly would, but not at Sevilla. He would only score one more goal in La Liga, and while he was bought from Liverpool, 
he was sold back to where it all started. While those last two seasons were tough for Aspas, coming back home completely rejuvenated his career. Celta de Vigo seemed to have done fine without him, finishing a 9th and 8th in the seasons he was absent. However, they wouldn't complain about bringing him back, and fans were delighted with his return. With Aspas added to a solid squad that included Nolito, John Guedetti, Daniel Vaz, and others, they were set out to have a great campaign under Eduardo Parizzo. The club finished in 6th and made the Copa del Rey semi-finals where they lost to Sevilla. It was a solid season for Aspas as well as he scored 14 goals and added 5 assists. Because of finishing in 6th, that meant that Celta de Vigo would be in the Europa League for the first time since being eliminated by Werder Bremen in the then named UEFA Cup in 2007. It was an incredible achievement for the club, but Europe in the 16-17 campaign would affect their league form as they finished in 13th. It was worth it though as the club reached the semi-finals of the Europa League only losing to champions Manchester United by one goal. They even had a chance to eliminate them in the last minute but John Guadetti somehow missed a simple chance. Celta were so close to reaching a European final but alas it wasn't meant to be. For Aspas he had an incredible season in all competitions. 5 goals in the Europa League, 19 in La Liga along with 4 assists, as well as another Copa del Rey semi-final appearance, where this time they did lose to Alaves. Overall, 26 goals in all competitions was an incredible feat, and the local Celta fan was starting to become a club hero if he wasn't already. However, the next few seasons would cement that. In the 2017-18 campaign, while Celta finished in 13th again, Aspas ended up scoring 22 times and was only behind the world beaters of Lionel Messi, Cristiano Ronaldo, and Luis Suarez. He had a formidable partnership with Maxi Gomez, but unfortunately, things went downhill for the club. The 18-19 season had them lose several key players like Vaz, Johnny, and Sergi Gomez to other clubs, while the majority of the signings were not able to make a significant impact. The same can be said with the players who performed well the season prior, but this season they were just a shadow of themselves. It also didn't help that Aspas missed 11 games with a calf injury which led to the club fighting for relegation. The record without him was dreadful, as while he was injured, Celta won one game, drew another, and lost 8. But once he returned, things began to turn around. The return didn't start out well unfortunately as his club were losing 2-0 to Villarreal. For some reason Villarreal were fighting relegation with them too. At this point, Celta looked dead and buried, set for relegation. However, the second half rolled around and up comes Iago Aspas. 51st minute, scores a free kick. Maxi Gomez would tie the match at 2-2, then later in the match, he steps up and scores a penalty to win it. He would continue to contribute in the following matches. One goal and assisting two in a 3-3 draw versus Huesca, scoring two goals to help defeat Real Sociedad 3-1. Missed a game against Atletico due to a suspension where they lost 2-0. Scored one and assisted another in a 2-1 victory over Girona. And on match day 34, he assisted the goal to tie Espanyol 1-1. They are currently two points clear of relegation, but Imagine where they would be without him. This man saved them from relegation when he made his debut, saved them from relegation in their season back in the top flight, and this season, he's doing it once again. While the time of recording, they aren't officially safe, they've done really well to get where they are right now. For Aspas, it was incredible to watch, read, and hear about everything he has done. The Celta fans appreciate him so much. A local paper called Faro de Vigo pointed out a tweet from Aitor Lagunas with a question of what to do if Iago Aspas keeps Celta up in the first division. The top answers from the poll was to rename the stadium after him, shortly followed by naming the city after him. The job isn't finished yet, but the fire that was instilled in Iago Aspas when he was at the club at a young age is still burning with a lot left to go. Now, Iago Aspas is a fantastic player and definitely deserves the recognition he's been getting. Whether he saves Celta de Vigo from relegation, it remains to be seen, but I saw this poll on the internet about people's favorite Iago Aspas moment, 
And so I decided to vote for the Villarreal match because, you know, I thought that was a good moment. Now let's see who won. Of course.